Hello, Libra darlings. I'm Laurel. And welcome to Laurel's Luminous Bitch. Join me as I read you your life, baby. Thank you to everyone who's liked, shared, commented, and subscribed to my channel. I appreciate each and every single one of y'all motherfuckers. Yes, I do. So thank you, Libra. And if you'd like to get a personal read, make sure you hit the description box down below. Check out my website, laurelsmoon.com, for any other deviation and magical purposes. And you can also email me at laurelbanks at gmail.com. So, we're going to go ahead and get into this reading spiritual welcome. I'm going to save the cards for the gods. Okay, so here we go, Libra. Release your ex. This time has come for you to clear your energy and to let go of control issues and allow the situation to unfold naturally. All right, and also calling in your soulmate, your prayers and affirmations and visualizations help bring help bring you together. And also, for some of you, there's some sort of deception that someone is wearing a false mask, false self mask in this relationship. Libra, darlings, and true love. This is a romance of a lifetime. So. Some of you all, someone could be lying, spying, being deceptive. All right. Let's see what's going down. First and foremost. All right. We have the Ten of Spears. Okay. So for some of you all, I feel like there's a situation that you're wanting to call it a quits. Or you could be feeling like you're just doing it overall all together by yourself. All right. I'm definitely seeing here with the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Spears. It could be some sort of ending. This is definitely what the deception is all about. Okay. So there could be someone who's definitely lying. Being deceptive in your overall energy. It could be a situation where you're afraid to uh, cut the connection off. Especially with the Two of Cups. So, wow. Somebody could be, be feeling extremely burdened. Could be some shadows, all right, that they're burdened to, too. If you look at the, him carrying all that weight and you see those shadows there, all right. Now, with that sword, someone could be feeling betrayed or backstabbed as well, Libra. Okay. For some of you, I'm definitely feeling like there's a decision that's going to be made here. Could have been a decision that's going to be made or it's one to come, all right. You have the two of coins in reverse and also the eight of cups. So, it looks to me like you're starting to see the deception in this overall, but there's someone who can't stay away from this connection. You have a lot of tools. Okay, it could be a lot of duality here. Could be some differences. All right, you have the Knight of the Knight of Coins. So Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here. There's someone who's definitely uh, taking their time, being very slow, extremely slow. Okay, then you also have the Page of Pentacles. So I'm feeling like it's a lot of land travel back and forth. It could be just handling your business, getting to your job is what I'm seeing here. For some of you guys, there's definitely a situation that someone is uh, wanting to heal from. could be because there's a lot of back and forth and in-betweens or decisions to be made. Is what I'm seeing here, a lot of twos, a lot of pentacles so far, Libra. But someone is definitely taking their time with this night of... Uh, Pentacle energy, they could be, you know, coming in very slowly, very, uh, the Knight of Coins is basically the loyal action, all right, could be coming in very slow, but I am seeing here for some of you guys, it could be a lot of mental anxiety, a lot of mental anguish, uh, that could be worrisome to you, but I do see here that you're definitely healing from that, so let's see how they view you. Wow. All right, so, <clears throat> Libra, interesting. They're definitely viewing you as someone who needs to take an action or someone who needs to let a lot of energy go. All right. There could be some expansion or some movement, some quick changes and releases. It's definitely how they're viewing you. A lot of ties and bonds here, too, with this devil energy and the tower. So it could be a love action for some of you. For some of you all, there could be a situation where there is definitely uh, something where you're leaving away from or someone is called away from it. All right. Wow, these cards are jumping out today, baby. All right, Queen of Swords energy. So, Libra, this is definitely you. All right, somebody could be 
wanting to cut a connection off or they're just definitely wanting some truthful facts here okay for some of you all it could be due to a marriage with the four of spears leo sagittarius aries cancer pisces scorpio and virgo taurus capricorn here for some of you all i just really see that they're viewing you as someone who's taking care of their business okay you could be nurturing to your own garden tending to your own business is what i'm seeing here but they're definitely viewing you as someone who's ready to cut a connection off and have a lot of assertive uh viewpoints here now for some of you guys there could be a situation where there's a marriage like i said of some sort that somebody is wanting to leave away from or get out in the community all right for some of you all there definitely could be a soulmate energy but i'm feeling like two different energies for some of you all for some libras you have the five of spears energy here so they're definitely viewing you as someone who's trying to avoid away from argumentative energy all right you're wanting nothing but straight facts you're not taking no shit and you also could be uh wanting some sort of marriage here or some sort of commitment but I'm seeing here with the Hierophant that there could be a lot of belief systems that you have differently than theirs with this Hierophant, okay? It could be like systematically, could be um, through uh, social standards, all right? But I am seeing here that there definitely could be a situation where someone wants to take an action or someone is needing to take an action. You have the Knight of Spears and the Queen of Spears. So I'm feeling like there, like I said, there could be two different uh Two different vibes here for some of you all one is like this person definitely needs to take some sort of action or you're gonna lose interest all right for some of you all there could be a situation where you're feeling uh that they've been deceptive to where you've lost interest and they need to make an action or someone needs to make an action here all right for some of you guys i could be i'm i'm picking up that there could be a lot of fire in their chart leo sagittarius aries energy here all right with this ace of spears Somebody definitely wants to take an action towards you, honey. Knight of Spears, Queen of Spears, Ace of Spears. Could be sexual energy that they're wanting to make this action happen. All right, but it's a lot of fire here, a lot of passion. So I'm seeing that it's you who's wanting to make this decision whether or not you're going to continue things or if you are going to make the next move. All right. <clears throat> I am seeing here with three of cup energy that someone could be dealing with family and friends. For some of you all, uh, there could be uh, some family and friends that are in the way. For some of you all, I'm seeing here with the hangman energy that there could be someone who's hanging around the situation wanting to see where this is going to go with the next action or with the next step that they're going to take this week. All right. So let's see uh, about what you don't see. Let's see what you don't see. Oh, interesting. Okay. So I'm seeing here so far that the Ace of Cups is here the star is here you could be dealing with the libra but what you don't see is somebody wants a renewal process somebody is definitely going to be bringing sort of sort of love and emotion some gesture an offer a claim of emotion happiness okay it could be emotional happiness whatever the case may be but i do see here that there's definitely going to be someone who's um who's going to be bringing in some offers for some of you all there could be a situation where there's a third party coming out of heartbreak. All right, you have the three of swords here and also the seven of swords. So there could have been a lot of deception, a lot of sorrow surrounded by uh, some information or some news that you received. All right, could have been under the surface. But I am seeing here that there's definitely going to be uh, someone who needs to release themselves uh, away from a situation that they could have been calling a loss or they feel is at a loss, especially with the five of swords energy here, Libra. So... I'm definitely seeing that for some of you guys, there's a loss underneath the surface, which you don't see. But then there's also someone who wants to deliver love to for it's like half and half. Like this person wants to bring an offer to you. They want some love. They want a renewal here. You have the lover's energy. You could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. All right. Another air sign. Possible Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn and Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy here. Also Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So it could be some things underneath the surface where it's a karmatic energy, all right? One is coming to an end, or you know that you've had to take a, take a loss. And then the other one is there's definitely some fireworks here with this lover's energy and the Ace of Cups, okay? And the star, a renewal process. Now, with this King of Spears, I'm feeling like there's an action that someone needs to take or someone needs to take part in an action. You have the Knight of Swords. It could be an in and out action. You could be dealing with someone who comes in and out. 
But I am seeing here that there could be an action. If they're not going to take this action, somebody's going to cut it the fuck off. All right? Especially with this chariot energy. They want some movement to happen here. You have the king of swords and the chariot. And also with the seven of spears. So I feel like if someone doesn't make an action, you're going to be ready to cut this shit off. Ready to make some changes and some movement that's going to be happening. And with the seven of spears, you're going to be guarded toward this person if they're not ready to make this new uh, call or this new action. Okay? Could be dealing with a Cancerian as well. But I am seeing a lot of Gemini Libra Aquarius energy here. So a lot of flighty energy too. All right. So this could be you or this could be them. Uh, but I'm definitely seeing that someone is going to go through a renewal process for sure. You have the judgment energy and the four of coins. So it could be something that you're definitely holding on to or someone is being possessive. Okay. That's going to make them withdraw and try to have a lot of choices and options. Is what I'm seeing here is what you don't see, okay? Someone could be making a lot of uh, choices by filling their own cup up. It could be with someone that you're dealing with. They, they could be, you know, you could be making options and choices for yourself. All right, but it's definitely a lot of choices. You could be blinded towards some of these options too or not wanting to see how you need to open up these gates with the Seven of Cups. Okay, Libra? So, let's see about possible outcomes. All right, you have the queen, you have the six of uh, cups here, and also the seven of pentacles. Someone could be pregnant for some of you all. Her belly is big. So, some of you all could be really uh, picking at what has come into fruition, what has come to term, what you've come to terms with. Some of you all, you could be daydreaming. Okay, you could be daydreaming about having a love. You also could be daydreaming about someone who is. Um, you know, having some love somewhere else. Okay, you have the Libra Guardia, the Justice, the Two Scales, darling. Definitely been getting this out in your reading. So I feel like it's a lot of equal balance, Libra. All right, could be a lot of fairness coming into play with family and friends, business, things of that nature. I am seeing here with the Nine of Pentacles, you're going to be getting some sort of fruition. All right, could be that there's a balance that's coming into fruition for you. All right, but I am seeing here that it's going to be uh, a decision that's in the makings to make a balance. I also, I'm also seeing here there could be a lot of threes. You have the three of pentacles, the three of wands, all right, and also the three of swords. For some of you, it could be a third party situation in the mix. That's what I'm seeing here. Uh, so it doesn't necessarily have to be, you know, a cheating partner, but it could be someone who's an interference of your overall energy. Uh, I, you have the queen of swords once again. So I'm feeling like there's definitely a situation where you're wanting to cut away from the bullshit. You just want straight facts. Now, someone could be juggling a third party. Someone could be coming to make a decision about a third party situation that they were once juggling. But I'm definitely seeing here that there's going to be a lot of action taken towards you. It could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. All right. You have the Knight of Charlises. So I am seeing a lot of threes. Three of Cups, Three of Wands. Three of Pentacles. Interesting. So, some of you all could be definitely looking out to seek other things, or you could be leaving some other passions behind, uh, wanting to see where your new uh, energy is going to come in at, you know, getting a lot of inspiration, looking out to seek other things, all right? But I'm seeing a lot of threes here, Three of Cups, uh, Three of Pentacles, and the Three of Wands, Libra. So you could be dealing with family and friends, but if you look at them, they look like they want to kill that little bird. So somebody, some of you guys could be plotting with your family and friends or your friends. But I'm definitely seeing a lot of threes here. So, very interesting, bro. Also, uh, Eight of Pentacles, I really feel like somebody's going to be working hard towards a new idea or a new action that's going to cause them to have a lot of creativity. All right, so your creativity could be off the off the roof. You have the Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, the Princess of Pentacles. It could be bringing in new ideas. Somebody could be jotting down new ideas as well. Okay, using that feather pen, baby. Somebody could be having money hidden underneath them too, Libra. But I am seeing that there's definitely going to be an action that's taken for this week. There's definitely going to be a lot of control happening here all right so for possible outcomes i'm seeing that there's a lot of light that's being shed 
All right, a lot of clarity coming in. You could be called to think outside of the box. Answers could be calling you, honey. What I am just seeing here is a lot of strength energy, for sure. A lot of uh, a lot of opportunities too coming your way of action. So definitely be aware of that for the week. And I am seeing here that there's going to be a lot of manifestations with this full card and the magician. So um, for some of you all, you could be dealing with an Aries, but I am seeing here uh, with the magician and the fool, there could be some manifestations that you're uh, bringing into fruition that you're going to want. Uh, these new opportunities, they're going to be coming at you. So you're going to have, it's decisions, decisions here is what I'm seeing. There's going to be a lot of communication with the eight of wands. So definitely be aware of that. Now, there is someone who's feeling backstabbed towards the situation, but it could be just getting the best of you in your own mental thinking with this Nine of Swords energy here. All right, look how the birds is picking at her. So, I feel like it's going to be a lot of communication, a lot of strength, and a lot of opportunities, and a lot of decisions. Okay, so definitely decisions that's being made here. This Emperor energy could be building towards your own business. For some of you all, you could be building towards Empire is what I'm seeing here. You have the Wheel of Fortune and the Emperor. So, wow, and the Ace of Pentacles. So Libra, this is looking damn good. You could definitely be having a lot of things uh, spinning your way. This will, right, the Ace of Pentacles, some offers, and the Emperor energy you could be building towards um, your own empire is definitely what I'm seeing here for some of you guys. So definitely take care of that. And money is on its way to you, baby. So decisions, decisions, and money, all right, is definitely the main focus. So for some of you all, you could be having an attachment with your lover with this devil energy. So definitely be aware of that. Like I said, I've been getting the devil energy a lot. Okay, so it could be a lot of bonds, a lot of closeness. Somebody could be having y'all in a jar of some sort, okay? But I am definitely seeing a lot of money cards here. Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, Emperor, a lot of building. So a lot of money situations coming your direction. Libra, my loves. All right, babies, if you'd like to get a personal read from me, make sure you hit the description box down below. Check out my website, laurelsmoon.com, and you can email me at laurelbanks at gmail.com. All right, babies, peace. See you in the next video.